Hello everyone, welcome to the Narc Survivor YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how narcissists are a leading cause of illness and disease. Please give the video a thumbs up, hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website, it is narcsurvivor.com. .co.uk. Narcissists are a leading cause of illness and disease. Narcissistic abuse can cause chronic illnesses, illnesses that persist for a long time or that are constantly recurring and cause decline or deterioration. Narcissistic abuse may even age you. It may make you look and feel older. It may speed up the gauging process. And there is also no amount of medication that will be able to cure it. Which is why going no contact with narcissists is one of the most healthiest decisions you can make. Because it can save your life. It can reverse the illness and disease which was caused by the toxic relationship. Because then you will be stepping into your own control, your own power. And you will be owning who you are being. You will be leading a much happier and more fulfilling life. While at this moment, you may be experiencing anxiety and depression. You may be experiencing headaches and digestive issues, heart issues, autoimmune diseases and inflammation throughout your body. Because narcissistic abuse is connected to illness and disease. But you can break free. You can go no contact. You can break the trauma bond. And that will then reverse the illness and disease caused by narcissistic abuse. Because while you're with a narcissist, you will experience anxiety, depression, headaches, digestive issues muscle tension and pain, heart diseases, heart attacks, strokes, sleep problems, weight loss or weight gain. You will experience all sorts of illnesses and diseases that are stress related because stress involves changes that affect nearly every system of the body. It has a major influence upon your mood, sense of well-being, behavior and health. And while you may be fully capable of surviving in society, you're not going to be able to survive an abusive, raging narcissist. Because the human body and mind is not designed to handle extreme levels of stress and neglect. The human mind and body needs rest. You need to have peace in your life. But instead, you're constantly experiencing mental and emotional strain and tension which then leads to illnesses and diseases as a result of the toxic relationship. Your heart rate is constantly higher than normal. You experience muscle tension and sweaty palms. It's like an endless panic attack because it's a trauma response. Your body is in fight or flight, which is caused by the release of cortisol and adrenaline to where your body may respond in an abnormal way. And you may experience involuntary movements, such as spasms or shaking, because your body is trying to manage the situation temporarily. Fight or flight is not a regular state for your body. It's meant to be temporary, to manage a situation. But then it's meant to return to its baseline it's self-regulating process to maintain stability for normal daily function. The human body has not evolved to deal with constant threats. It has evolved to encounter wild animals, such as bears, which would then put your body into fight or flight, to where you would then experience increased heart rate, heavy breathing and sweaty palms so that you can then leave the situation as soon as possible and get yourself to safety. And then your body can return to its baseline, 
its normal way of functioning. Because that's how the human body is designed. But imagine you're being chased by a bear. And no matter how fast you run, you can never get away. And days, weeks, months, even years of your life pass by. And you're constantly running, but you still don't get away. It may sound impossible. But it's exactly what life is like in a toxic relationship. It's what your body is going through. When you're dealing with narcissistic abuse, you're constantly running from a situation you're not able to get away from. Because maybe you haven't accepted that these people in your life are no different to the bear. They may not be able to endure hardship or pain, but they are predators. They hunt and destroy people. And your body is not meant to remain in that type of situation, which is why you may experience hormonal changes, irritable bowel syndrome, and other digestive issues, which presents your body from processing nutrients correctly. And it may develop skin disorders and inflammation because your body is unable to absorb nutrients as a result of the constant fight or flight from being in a toxic relationship Narcissistic abuse can also cause a disturbance in your cardiac rhythm and elevated anxiety due to psychological stress. Psychological stress is reported to be a risk factor for autoimmune diseases. And having a job or just simply being in society is not enough to cause prolonged psychological stress. It's caused by emotional manipulation, gaslighting and betrayal from people who they say care about you, from those who are closest to you. That is what causes psychological stress. And it is reported to be a risk factor for autoimmune diseases. It can even cause arthritis. Narcissistic abuse causes anxiety. It causes you to question what is real and what isn't. You question your own thoughts and feelings. And you always feel on edge because narcissists are unpredictable. You never know how they're going to respond. So you are always walking on eggshells. You are navigating a minefield because any move you make could set off the narcissist, which causes even more anxiety. And this anxiety affects other aspects of your life to where you may find that almost anything makes you anxious. It may have caused you to develop a short fuse and you may be more impatient, which is all a result of the abuse. You also experience a loss of self-esteem and self-worth because the narcissist may have spent months or years nitpicking and fault finding and blaming you for everything that went wrong while never taking responsibility for their actions. And initially, you may recognize that they are wrong So you may not believe what they say, but as time goes by, you start to question yourself. And even when you don't believe their words, it's draining to always deal with negative comments because you're constantly having to defend or reaffirm yourself, which is why it doesn't matter who you are or how strong you are. Eventually you will lose trust in yourself and it will destroy your self-worth and self-esteem until it then leads to depression because you're told that you can't do anything right. You're told how all of the problems are your fault, which makes you feel worthless and it may even make you question the purpose of your existence. It increases your anxiety to the point where you have to isolate yourself because you feel uncomfortable around other people. But this only worsens your depression as you struggle to appreciate your own company as well. Because you're experiencing digestive issues, heart issues and fatigue, but then you also can't sleep, which makes you feel even more anxious and depressed. And you may also be experiencing muscle tension and pain which is why it's so important to go into contact with narcissists 
It's the healthiest decision you will ever make in your life. Because once you leave the cycle of abuse, you can then begin the healing process. The less contact you have with a narcissist, the better you will feel. Especially if you have other people who are supportive. Because the narcissist does not want to see you get better. Which is why they will try to prevent it where they can. The stronger you become, the more threatened the narcissist will feel. Which will cause them to revert back to their old tactics again. And it's why you must never look back after leaving the narcissist. Because then you can regain your self-esteem, self-confidence and hope for the future. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.